first example, we're given uh, an angle, another angle, and a side. So the first thing we need to do is draw a picture of this triangle and then see where we can go from there. So I've got A, B, C. Remember, you use capital letters for the angles and then lowercase letters for the sides. And you always orient them so that lowercase a is opposite angle A. That puts B down here and C over here. And we're given that C has length 4. We're given that angle A measures 50 degrees. And angle B measures 60 degrees. And so what we have here is we're given two angles and a side between them. So this is angle side angle. Um, and remember, with angle side angle, that's one that has a unique solution if the angles add up to less than 180. And in this case, the angles sum up to 110, which is less than 180. So there is a unique solution. So we're going to try to solve the triangle. Remember, that means find all the angles, um, find all the, the, the measures of all the angles and the lengths of all the sides. Well, there's one that's very easy to start with, which is angle C, because that's just 180 minus A minus B, which is 180 minus 110, which is just 70 degrees. So I know that angle C is, a, is 70 degrees. Looks like my triangle's not really drawn to scale here because that angle's a little bit smaller than 70 degrees. Uh, that's OK. We can still do the trigonometry on this. Um, I didn't know ahead of time that it was going to be 70 degrees because I hadn't solved that part yet. So that's OK. We'll, we'll still work out the rest of the trigonometry. Now, we're going to use the law of sines to solve the rest of this. So let me write down the law of sines. Remember it says sine A over A is equal to sine B over B equal to sine C over C. So let's see. We've got to figure out what little a and little b are. Those are the only things that are missing in our triangle. So I'm going to use sine a over little a is equal to, I think I'm going to use sine c over little c because I already know what little c is. If I use b, and then I wouldn't know what little b was, and so I, wouldn't, I would have too many unknowns. So sine A is sine of 50 over A is equal to sine of 70 over C is 4. And if I cross multiply there, I get 4 sine 50 is equal to A sine 70. Or A is equal to 4 sine 50 over sine 70. And now it's a matter of plugging those values into my calculator. And a very important uh, concept that sometimes trigonometry students forget about, and is I mentioned this in the previous lecture, but I want to emphasize it again, is that your calculator needs to be in degree mode if you're, talking, if you're working these problems out using degrees. If your calculator is in radian mode, then it won't know what to, well, it will know what to do with sine 50 or sine 70, but it won't be what you want. So you need to convert your calculator into degree mode before you solve any of these problems if you're using degrees. So I've converted my calculator. I've used the mode button to convert it from radians into degrees. And now I'm going to work out 4 times sine of 50 divided by sine of 70. And what I get is approximately, I'm rounding this a little bit, 3.26. So that tells me that A is approximately 
So I've solved for A. Now I'm going to solve for little b the same way. Sine of capital B over little b is equal to sine of capital C over little c. And I'll fill in what I know here. I know that capital B is 60 degrees. Don't know little b yet. Capital C is 70 degrees. And little c is 4. And so again, I'll cross multiply. B sine 70 is 4 sine 60. So B is equal to 4 sine 60 over sine 70. And I'll plug that into my calculator. So 4 sine 60 over sine 70. And that gives me approximately 3.69. So now I've solved the triangle. I've found the lengths of all three sides, and I've found the measures of all three angles. The key to solving this problem is to identify which quantities you're given. We were given two angles and a side. Uh, once we knew that it was angle side angle, we knew we had a unique solution because the angles weren't, didn't add up too big. We could find the third angle, and then we kind of worked our way around using the law of sines to solve down and find the missing side lengths. So we'll try some more examples of that. <laughs>